Okay, sorry about this. This is part three. I just don't have any space on my phone. Um, so where was I? Okay. He looked kind and pleasant and gentle. His song when he sang was beautiful. I've never heard anything like it. It melts and warms your very soul. He saw me there, and his bright blue eyes were flashing playfully as he opened his wings wide and extended his arms toward me in welcome. But I turned. I turned off and looked off towards the... Ah. But I turned, I turned and looked off toward the woods, towards the dark undergrowth, my soul, my spirit, searching for your own. I looked back to the bright one and his eyes were questioning. I think he was unable to determine why I had not come to him. I did not know how to explain to him. He was beautiful in every way, sparkling perfection at its finest. Finally, I opened my mouth and spoke softly. There is one who has my heart and only he, completely. I have given him my mind. The bright one looked about and asked, And where is this other more precious than the likes of me? Where is this one you care for so deeply? Do his wings sparkle more brightly? Is his voice more beautiful than my own? I smiled and replied, His voice is more beautiful than yours, for it is the voice of one who knows. The bright one pondered this, but I could see it made not a shred of sense to him, and how could it? I wandered off toward the woods, eyes still searching for you. That was the evening when you found me waiting under the birch tree on the rock near the edge of the woods. I recall how you swooped down on me unsuspectingly, and I had just caught your scent on the breeze when I was lifted high up into the air. I feel safe with your arms about my waist, but you already know this. Now, this present night, I feel at home with you, so very safe and content and pleased. I wish that you were capable of feeling these things that I do. I wish that I could be here, hugging tightly to you for all eternity, for you are the most beautiful one in the world to me, exactly how you are. I have loved you, and my love for you is full and complete, and I wish there were some way to express it to you, but for now, I will just enjoy this closeness. That is what I have, and my heart is fully content in you. And that's all that I wrote of that story ever, but I like it anyhow, so there you go.